Welcome to the new series for teenagers, Get the Message. I'm Stephen. And I'm Jo. During this series of programmes, we're going to show you lots of cool people and places in the UK. But not only the UK. Oh no, we're also going to take a look at some places in the US. Great. And what about today's programme, Jo? Well, today's programme is about a famous explorer. Who? Marco Polo? No. His name was Powell Cotton. He's very important because he made one of the world's biggest collections of African animals. And where is this collection? It's in the Powell Cotton Museum in Kent. Kent is in the south-east of England. I'm Jo, nice to meet you. Hi Jo, I'm Malcolm, I'm the curator of the Powell Cotton Museum, welcome. Could you show me around the museum? Sure, come in. The museum was built by Major Percy Horace Gordon Powell Cotton. He was born in 1866 and he died in 1940. Who was he? He was an adventurer, explorer and hunter. So which countries did he visit? He visited mostly Africa but also parts of Asia as well including Ladakh, Tibet and some parts of India. Did he have a favourite country? I don't know about a favourite country but certainly his favourite continent was Africa. What was his longest trip? His longest trip was 30 months, and that was in 1903 to British East Africa. He spent a long time abroad. Do you think he sometimes felt homesick? Yes, I'm sure he did feel homesick at times. He had a wife and children back at home. What was he like? He was a very brave, adventurous and friendly man who got on very well with the African people. What was he doing when he was in Africa? He was collecting the African animals. Did he collect anything else? Yes, he collected a lot of local material from local African people. Spears and shields, drums, all sorts of things. What's your favourite thing in the museum? The elephant in Gallery 3. My favourite thing is the lion. This is the same lion that attacked Powell Cotton in 1906. He survived because the local Africans killed the lion. This is Julia and she's the director of this museum. Hello Julia. Hello Jo. So who visits this museum? Everybody. We get many family groups because there's something here for everybody from the smallest child to the oldest granny. <laughs> and we have very many tourists from abroad, um, from France and Germany and Spain, America even, and Australia. Uh, we are a world-class collection, so we are of interest to everybody. Apart from the collections made by Major Power Cotton from Africa, we have several galleries relating to other items. There's British archaeology from prehistory through Roman and medieval periods. There is a superb and very rare collection of yellow porcelain from the Forbidden Palace in Beijing. Only the imperial family were allowed to use the colour yellow. What 
what's your favourite part of the museum? I'd have to think about that for a few moments, but it's probably the display of masks in Gallery 7. Mmm, that looked really interesting. But didn't you feel sad about the animals? Well, I know what you mean, but the collection is really important. Why? Because scientists are now using the collection to help protect animals in danger. Mm. That really is important. Yes, it is. Well, that's all for today. See you next time. Bye! Bye.